Welcome to the Empower Room for empowering moments with your host, Timothy Hughes. Empowering Moments is brought to you by Empower Media LLC, where we empower you, parents, and the entire community with transformative information to move mind and spirit to a higher state of well-being. So welcome to the Empower Room, and let's get started. Well, welcome to the Empower Room. I'm your host, Rep T, and I uh, want to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, uh, Happy Hanukkah. I know that's past, but we're grateful uh, for this time of the year, the season of the year. It's a, a joyous time for the most part, and just grateful to be able to end the year uh, with this wonderful show that we have today with a very special guest uh, that I will be introducing to you shortly. So I want to welcome you again to the Empower uh, Room for Empowering Moments with your host, Rev T. Uh, please like our page, uh, send an emoji, leave a comment. Uh, we really would appreciate your um, comments and uh, sharing our show. Uh, we've been doing this for over a year now, and it's been a blessing to a lot of people and hope that you have been enjoying the content of what we've been doing thus far. Uh, Empower Media LLC is a social empowerment entity, and we empower community through social, digital media, uh, um, book publishing, uh, programming, and special engagements. Uh, we do special engagements and have been doing uh, special engagements for over 25 years. Uh, and we do have a website. Our website is MPWR Media LLC One. Empower is a play on words. Uh, MPWR Empower Media LLC One.com is our website. And you're able to check out our website. We have uh, our menu of services that's available to you on our website, as well as a book that we have published called In the Blink of an Eye uh, that is available, which is a testimony of mine uh, from having a sudden death heart attack and having an afterlife experience. So that's available also on the website. And uh, we want to encourage you to check out our website, uh, keep up with what Empower is doing. We have some exciting things coming in 2022. So Empower, the empowering moments that we're in, engaged in right now, uh, it's uh, about um, sharing cultural, civic, and inspirational moments with special guests from all over the country, all over the world. We have been blessed to have guests from as far as Germany, Ghana, West Africa, uh, in various parts of the United States, and just so grateful for this uh, platform to be able to share empowering information in the manner that we have been able to do it thus far. So, and today is no further ado. And before we get to our guests, I do want to say that uh, Empower Media LLC, which I'm sure a lot of you all have seen on our website and uh, Facebook page, is that we are uh, in solidarity with uh, Mr. Joe Madison. Uh, Joe Madison is known as the Black Eagle uh, on Cirrus Urban View. And uh, he is on a hunger strike in regard to the Voting Rights Bill and the Voting Rights Acts that are before uh, the Senate at this time. And he is on his 43rd day at this time, on his 43rd day. So we want to uh, just be mindful of uh, what he is sacrificing and pray uh, that we get in contact with our representatives to encourage them to please uh, do what is necessary to uh, make sure that our democracy remains a democracy and equality will be maintained as relates to uh, our voting rights. All right. So thank you very much. And want to definitely wanted to lift that up uh, today. So today we are blessed to have a wonderful guest uh, with us today. And um, he goes by the name of uh, James Loveless. And we're so grateful to have him on. He is an outstanding artist uh, that 
uh, is with us uh, from Fort Worth, Texas, and so glad to have him on with us. And all right, Lovelace, how are you today? All right, sir. It's a blessing to be here, Reverend T. All right, pleasure. glad to have you with us. So glad we were able to make this uh, connection. I think this is a great way to uh, end uh, 2021 uh, with uh, your wonderful artwork that you do Bless and have you. done. And I did give people a little background. Uh, Mr. Lovelace in 1978 is a graduate of a BFA from the Kansas City Arts Institute. Uh, mm -hmm. No, he graduated with a BFA, sorry, from the Kansas City Art Institute. And he's a member of the Oil Painters of America, the American Plains Artists, and the National Oil and Acrylic Painter Society. Uh, he has studied with Bruce Green and Martin Grill. Uh, he has worked as a graphic designer, uh, package designer, and illustrator for Overlook in St. Louis. Some of uh, his clients include FedEx, Wilson Farina, Anheuser-Busch, Six Flags of Mid-America, Alpha Seltzer, Kentucky Fried Chicken, to name a few. Also, he is, uh, he has freelanced as an illustrator in open uh, Loveless Galleries, and he is a family of five, uh, and my family of five sold prints, created custom framing, and painted portrait commissions. And uh, he has also done commercial art, serving at risk high school youth in the St. Louis Public Schools and uh, also has painted murals for the Khan Academy in Fort Worth, Texas, and several other churches around the country. Uh, he is married uh, to his beautiful wife, Yvette, and they have five children and 14 grandchildren. Have uh, mercy, Jesus. So that, that's wonderful. Congratulations. And I know that Christmas must be off the chain at your house. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's, a, it's unfortunate that we live here in Fort Worth and the majority of our family is back in uh, Texas. Oh, so really? we, we just we uh, just had twin uh, granddaughters. Oh, and so really? we were able to see them most recently about a couple of months ago. So we're just okay. happy and still celebrating. God is so good. Yes, he is. Yes, he Come is. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And as you say, you're currently in Fort Worth, Texas now, correct? Right, right. We moved here initially in order to plant a church. And oh, really? uh, that, that was, yeah, that's how I got here. Okay. And uh, since that time, we planted it and uh, it. Uh, now we've moved on from that. We're okay. currently at the uh, Potter's House of Fort Worth. And wonderful. Bishop T.G. Jakes is my pastor. Awesome. And uh, doc, uh, Dr. Patrick Winfield II is my uh, pastor, and T.D. Jakes is my bishop, actually. So Understand. That's, that's how that all works. I understand. Right. Yeah, we have visited there a couple of times. Definitely am familiar with the Potter's House, and I always check them out on TV, too. So Come on yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, outstanding, outstanding. So with all this going on with COVID and all that, how is your family doing? Is everyone doing okay? Everybody's doing well. Uh, uh, my three sons have all had COVID. They got COVID. One got it while he was doing praise and worship at church. Really? And, and my nephew, which is also a uh, male, he He's gotten it too, but they're oh, all doing good. well now and Praise everything God. is good. Everything Praise is good. Praise God. Praise God. That's good news. Good news. So tell us how you got interested in art. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I started back in the day, I guess when I was in the eighth grade, I was able to do a portrait of uh, one of my classmates and everybody recognized that it was uh, him. And okay. so since that time, I had a, a great school uh, teacher that encouraged me and along with my mom, uh, was very instrumental in encouraging me. And so uh, that's how I got to this place. And uh, people always ask, well, how did you get involved with Western art? You know, you, you're a black man and you're doing all these cowboys and so forth. But uh, my grandfather was a rancher uh, and a cowboy. We used to go to rodeos. He used to do the uh, 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 bulldogging and roping and he used to do cattle. In his later years, he taught uh, uh, his uh, he taught ponies how to uh, walk. All right, mm -hmm. uh, it's a certain walk that they do, and it's really difficult to teach them. But uh, you'll see it in parades and stuff. But 
my my grandfather was instrumental in, in doing that. And so I'm, I'm just proud that going back from the streets of Fayetteville, Arkansas, uh, <laughs> and, and, and uh, as a son, as a, a grandson of sharecroppers, you know, that I'm able to, you know, do this kind of work and try to set the history straight of what happened back in the day in the West. There were a lot of black cowboys. Uh, and uh, in the Chisholm Trail, which is right here in Texas, there were, there were 35,000 cowboys and 9,000 of them were black. And a lot of them were Hispanic. And a lot of people don't know that. And once you see Hollywood and the way we're portrayed there, it's really I disagree with a lot of things that go on. But that's one of the reasons that I do this artwork and, and do the West to show how black folks have been instrumental in the past. I see, I see. And I've, uh, I've been blessed to see uh, quite a bit of your art and it's just amazing. Um, in fact, I've seen it on uh, Facebook and I'm like, man, I've got to have you on. And I'm so glad that I was able to make that connection uh, with you through- It's, it's uh, a blessing. Connors in St. Louis, so, so great to have <laughs> Right, you. right. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so yeah. let's see. I think I'm going to see if I can uh, bring up some of your work here and see okay. if we can uh, explore some of it, okay? Awesome. All right. Okay. So we do have some pieces up now. So oh. uh, can you share some information about- uh, Sure, sure. Uh, this one on the left is called Eagle Wolf, and it's actually of- uh, a Cherokee warrior preparing, preparing to uh, shoot his prey. And uh, there were uh, five civilized tribes uh, and Cherokee was one of those tribes. And they had a lot of black folks in those tribes. So it wasn't that black folks were in one place, uh, Native Americans were in another place and white folks were somewhere else. They all used to um, intermingle and intermarry. And so a lot of that isn't known. And it's my objective to, to try to show that uh, part of history in my artwork, that um, it was uh, it was not just everybody was in their particular section, but there were people that were doing a lot of things. And uh, it, things have just kind of been whitewashed through uh, Hollywood and through what people want the scenario to be, as opposed to what it was. I so see. that's why I do this kind of stuff. And that's that's Eagle Wolf on the left. Uh, I did uh, uh, Lone Timber Wolf. That is, if you click on it, it'll get bigger and it'll show the entire page. Uh, and uh, what happens is uh, that sold so fast, I'm like, maybe I should do some more uh, wildlife. Yeah. But I haven't done a lot of it. But oh, that's okay. fun. And, and those those two are sold already. Okay. So it's it's just a it's just uh, we enjoy doing artwork and uh, I've got five kids three of them drawing paint, and so uh, with that they are able to uh, uh, do what they need to do. My my oldest daughter is actually a professional graphic designer. Really? And, okay. Right, right. So she really since she was uh, graduated high school she's really taken up the banner to do that to do her art and. Uh, the other two still drawing paint, probably better than I did uh, at the age they are now. So they they outdo me every time. Uh, and I guess you. that's what the youth does. They're always outdoing you. Oh yeah, and, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing to take it to a whole nother level. Come on yeah. now, come on yeah. now. Yep, so I see some more here. Okay, yeah, that's Old Town Road over there on the left. Uh, that's of the Fort Worth Stockyards back in the day. Okay. And so all of the regalia and the uh, uh, weapons, or there are no weapons there, but all of the things that you see, like the longhorn steer, they uh, have breeded against that going into the future because they were so lean and they wanted this, the steer to be uh, more robust. But they have these long horns uh, that go from like four feet to probably six and a half feet wide. And uh, th that was uh, something that, it's from that time, but this would be actually from the 1870s for the 1880s with the things that they have on, the tack on the horses, the way that the black cowboy is dressed. Uh, all of that is uh, is uh, particular to that time. 
I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. And so uh, people are able to go to what, what? what's the website that they can go to to be able to get? Uh, 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 yeah, you can go to uh, jameslovelessart.com. And there, or if you click on one of the images there, you can uh, see exactly if you wanted to if you wanted to print it on paper, what size you want it, uh, if you want it on canvas. We also print it on acrylic, and we print on metal. So it's according to what you want and according to your budget. So you don't have to worry about uh, I don't want to buy an original today, but maybe he would uh, like to buy a gift as a print for someone. A paper print, a small one, you can do that. So all those things are available because uh, the entire website is print on demand. And so that that makes it you know easy for everyone, hopefully. And if you do have a question, you can always call me up and I'll, I'll try to walk you through it the best I can. All right, what's the website? Okay, the website again is jameslovelessart.com. That's J-A-M-E-S. L O V E L E S S art, A R T dot com. And okay. you can go there and get uh, uh, the print that you like, or you can purchase the original. And it's okay. all on the same page, so it makes it easy for you to access. All right. And that's James Loveless art dot com. Okay, so we got jameslovelessart.com. Is that correct? That's the one. Okay, all right. Yeah. So jameslovelessart.com is the location that you can go to to uh, be able to purchase. Uh, how many pieces would you say that you have been able to create? Are you able to put a number to it? Uh, pr Probably over a thousand pieces, but at really? the website, there's about a hundred pieces there. About uh, because pieces. I've been creating a lot of things that I've done in the past have been uh, commissions. We used to have a gallery back in St. Louis called Loveless Galleries. Mm. Right. It was in Northwest Plaza, if you ever heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> you heard of that? Okay. Right. Without a doubt. Right. Yeah. right. So uh, that's how I was able to get my kids through college. They used to come there and work uh do, doing framing or doing sales in the okay. front and i'd be busy working away in the back i also had uh, one of my sons trey would uh, do airbrushing we did airbrushing there and we did oil painting and uh, framing custom framing and mm. those are the things that i taught them so they mm. could uh make make it uh through school Awesome. And so that's that's what that was the way I got my kids through college. Yeah. A, a hey, lot that, of it. that was smart, smart dad. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Man of wisdom, uh, the Holy Ghost. That's all right. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. That's all right. That'll work, man. By the grace yeah. of God. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, we've got where we can uh, people can go to uh, purchase your uh, artwork at jameslovelessart.com. So uh, please, uh, this is a wonderful gift. I know Christmas is right around the corner, but it can go beyond Christmas. We have uh, other great uh, uh, holidays. We have a wonderful calendar too. So a again, calendar. Yeah, we just oh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. right. So you can go okay. purchase the calendar and and have all the artwork uh, uh, all throughout the months of the year. Oh, wonderful. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, That's good just, to know. So there's a, a calendar available as right. well. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. So um, where anything else you would like to share um, in regard to uh, what you're doing with the artwork? Anything you all want to share at all? Okay. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's just been a blessing. There's not a lot of uh, people doing Black folks uh, doing the, in the arts, in the visual mm -hmm. arts. And I just want to be an encouragement to anyone that's out there that is interested in doing art as a career and that you can uh, make money doing this and it is available to you. Uh, I've got one of my mentees that grew up with my children is, is now doing websites for Pepsi and Uber. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, they, they were interested in art and they painted, they drew, they did those kinds of things. And then when you connect it with cultivating that interest 
uh, with computers, you can go a long way to do what you'd like to do into a career that in visual art. So I just want to be an encouragement for any young people that are out there that you can be an artist, you can be a web designer, you can be an animator. There are lots of careers that are available to you uh, in the arts field. And uh, I, I love musicians. I am a musician. In fact, before right. COVID, okay. right, before COVID, we were, uh, my wife and I sang in nursing homes and we had a seven piece band. And when, mm -hmm. when COVID uh, kind of came in, we mm -hmm. had to shut all of that down and, right. and just do what we do now as, uh, uh, as artists, like we did back in St. Louis, you know, back to square one. But right. I enjoy this. I love it. I love the arts. And I just want to be an encouragement to anyone that's interested in it. You can make a career, you know, uh, don't think that because, oh, you can just draw and you're a starving artist. That is not true. Okay. And you, you can do what you, whatever you want to do. Uh, and, and the sky's the limit. Just oh. believe it and, uh, and keep on pushing. Amen. I mean, that's 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 good for uh, young people to know, especially with uh, a lot of young people having that entrepreneurial mindset and spirit and uh, some are, are so so very creative and not really realizing that that could be something that they can make a living from. Exactly. So that's outstanding. That's outstanding. Right. And you, I think your life is more fulfilled when you're able to really uh, do what you really love doing. That's for sure. That's a yeah, my pastor, I always talk, it was, uh, his uh, theme for this month is the gift. So any gift that you have is a gift that's given to you. Yeah. And it's up to you to work the gift. Right. You can have a gift. And if, if you don't work it, if you don't cultivate it, mm -hmm. if you don't go to school for it, if you don't do anything to develop the gift that you have, mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, help you and it right. doesn't help anyone. Right. The reason that you have a gift is to be able to share with others what you do have. And yes. so uh, with that, you can be a blessing to others, to your family and to yourself by using your gift, whatever it is. All of us have gifts. Yes, indeed. Hey, Use thank you, man. I needed that myself. Uh, that, that's a wonderful uh, message of, of gift, <laughs> a gift <laughs> that you gave in message. So thank you so much. Amen, amen. <laughs> yes, indeed. So we want to thank you all again uh mr loveless for coming on you uh, me. god bless your art uh we'll definitely be making some purchases uh for sure myself so i uh, look forward to doing that and uh with uh, both of us being in texas we'll need to get together sometime in fellowship okay sounds like a plan where are you located uh in uh rockwall area rockwall, rockwall okay right, rockwall yeah yeah, yeah. My, my friend joy spencer the saxophone player is in, in around that area no, is that right? Okay. Uh -huh. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We want to thank you so much for being with us today in the Empower Room. I, we have been empowered uh, and we appreciate uh, you uh, coming on. And uh, please, uh, uh, we're grateful that everything worked out uh, for us to make this happen. So uh, uh, bless us to you and your family for the holidays, for Christmas. And, thank you. You uh, too. Christmas, New Year to you and your family and your wife and everyone and your uh, new uh, grandchildren. God bless every one of y'all. <laughs> okay. Thank oh, you so much, Reverend T. All God right. bless okay. you too, my man. All right now. Good day of you on. God bless you all. All right. All, all right. right now. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye bye. bye bye. All right. All right, Miss Loveless. All right. I'm going to run over and say hello to you. All right. Thank you. Thank yes. you. God bless you. Really God good. bless you and your family. Thank you. Yes, right. indeed. All Thank right. You. We all had to get together. Okay. All right. All right. All right. God bless. Bye -bye. All right. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. All right, all right. We want to thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Loveless for being on with us. We saw some outstanding artwork uh, that uh, he has available on the website. We want to encourage you to go to jameslovelessart.com and check out some of his uh, his artwork there. He said he has over 100 pieces that are available there. So I want to encourage you to please go check those out. And uh, we just want to say a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Empower Media, LLC. And our website, again, is mpwrmediallc1.com. So feel free to check our website out and learn more about uh, the services that we provide and our publications. 
Uh, I think you will be pretty uh, impressed with what we have done in a short period of time and look forward to going into 2022 with uh, new um, adventures, new services, new publications, all that. So I want to thank all of y'all who have supported us um, in 2021 and pray that you have a prosperous new year and a blessed um, Christmas. And everyone, please stay safe. Be safe uh, with this COVID. It appears to be on the rise again uh, with this new variant. So please be careful. And for those who have lost loved ones and are uh, grieving uh, during this time, I would want to encourage you uh, today, especially and during this season. I know it can be a tough time for a lot of people and pray that uh, the power of the Holy Spirit will keep you lifted and friends and family and, uh, you know, uh, people will be able to reach out to you and you'll be able to reach out to others that uh, have your best interests at heart. All right. So God bless you all. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We look forward to seeing you all in 2022. If the Lord says the same. All right. So everyone have a blessed, blessed, blessed holiday and be blessed. Let me thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for joining us in the Empower Room. Hope you have received some impactful information. Please like or leave a comment. See you next week in the Empower Room, brought to you by Empower Media LLC and your host, Reverend Timothy Hughes, a.k.a. Rev T.